So Philippians 4 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything, everything. The easiest way to cultivate a powerful prayer life is just to pray about everything, even the insignificant and the mundane. Telling God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Now take a look at that verse. Stare at it for just a few moments. Notice that the experience of God's peace is the fruit of the practice of praying. It doesn't say, don't worry about anything or be anxious for nothing, but instead make everything your prayer And God will hear you, and God will answer the prayer that you pray, and then his peace will guard you. This is not what it says. There is no promise that the answers to prayer will happen in the way that we're praying them. But it does promise that if we will practice bringing everything to God in dialogue and prayer, particularly the stuff that we worry about, what it says is the promised response is that God will hear and peace will guard our hearts. This is so critical to understand because you need the presence of that space, especially when the prayers that you are praying don't turn out the way that you were hoping and expecting. And yet, there's this invitation to bring God into the dialogue of that anxiety, and that changes you because it moves you to an experience that Paul simply calls a peace that passes understanding. And it has to be that, because oftentimes when we pray and we look at our circumstance, our understanding will say there's no peace. But what Paul says is there is a peace, and it transcends the temporary chaos and anxiety of your mind, and it will sustain you. So we make the things we worry about the beginning place where we create this prayer list. 